Today on the channel, we unbox the Chase Edition Legends 22 Hulk Hogan, and we rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Legends 22 unboxing and review with a twist as today we're unboxing the Chase Edition Ichiban Hulk Hogan and in the back half we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite so stay tuned for that and of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, for all your wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. And these, you're not going to find at Ringside Collectibles, at least not right now. These are, of course, Target exclusives. Hitting the stores at Target as we speak. Not that hard to find, in all honesty. Uh, I hear a lot of people say, well, I can't find them in my stores. Well, they're all available for shipping online. Obviously, the Chase Hulk Hogan, a little bit extra work. But I think if you were uh, diligent enough, and it's still early, you should should be able to find those things is I love hitting the stores more than anybody I love it I've been doing it since I was a little kid however work uh, smarter not harder is what I would say unless you enjoy the fig hunt you can easily order a lot of this stuff online as we do see from the legends line uh, if a little patience obviously it's fun to get them right away but if you are patient there's no way you're not going to get all of these um, through the mail or a little bit more patience you can probably get them on clearance as we've seen with most of the lines uh, over the last couple of years from the legends line at Target so there it is there's my uh, soapbox let me get off it let me get back to the Hulkster here the Ichiban number one Hulk Hogan in blue this time so not a ton of differences not going to be here for everybody but you know me I got to get them all and that's what I have right here with the Hulkster and of course with the usual thing with chases for me I always try to display them differently and we'll get into that in this review but we've seen the packaging on this one before looking good here WWE logo elite over there series 22 Hulk Hogan and then you got the window box as well Hulk Hogan Elite 22, same thing on this side, WWE logo down there. Then on the back, we get the tail of the tape, we get the blurb, we got the cross sell. Like I said, we're going to rank the entire set, so make sure you got your ideas together. And then you got the glamour shot of the Hulkster there. Let's see what it says. Titles, WWE Champion, WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Prior to Hulkamania run wild all over the world, Hulk Hogan reigned supreme in Japan as Ichiban. The giant powerhouse stepped into the ring against future WWE Hall of Famers like Antonio Inoki, Tatsumi Fujinami, and the great Muda, showing a technical prowess that won the respect of the New Japan fans and really everybody on the island of Japan. They all respect the Hulkster, or they don't. I guess choose your own Hulkster adventure right there. Hulk Hogan, Captain Lou, Muhammad Ali, and the Sultan in Series 22. See you later, goodbye. Plastic prison, the Hulkster ready to go, ready to run wild all over you. And it's always dangerous when the Hulkster runs wild all over somebody. It's very messy. It's very messy is what I've heard. We're going to pop him out. Looks like we got a twist tie around the leg down here. We're going to pop that bad boy out. Oh, we got one on each foot. I missed the other one. What am I doing? I'm slipping. I'm slipping here. What are we doing? There it goes. And the Hulkster ready to run wild. See you later. Twist ties all over. What a mess. What a mess. But let's dive into the accessories on this one first. That's where we usually start with these. We do get two fisted hands, and we do get a pointer finger hand and a gripping hand, the opposite of what comes on the figure here. So as usual, choose your own hand adventure. Choose your own Hulkster adventure. Uh, at the end of the day. Now, you do get the rubber band around the goggles, glasses. How about glasses? Uh, he's got those beautiful 70s, 80s glasses there. And I like that they do that extra step of putting that little rubber band around there because you can see these getting dislodged in the packaging, falling off or falling down his face, something like that. So that's a nice little touch Mattel does do. Got those nice orange glasses, just like we saw with the regular ones. And as I talked about earlier on the Chase Editions, make them as different as possible. Maybe you put one with glasses on, one with glasses off. There's a point of difference. Talked about the hand. 
hands, use different hands for the two, and then you get down to the shirt. Maybe one has the shirt on, one has the shirt off. There's enough meat on the bone here to really mix these up and make them almost feel like two totally different figures is what you can do. But you do get the Soft Goods uh, Japan shirt here looking very, very nice. Uh, very iconic in its own way. Obviously, it's not a Hulkamania, it's not an NWO Hulk Hogan shirt, but iconic for those that have followed the Hulkster's whole career. You've seen magazines, seen clips, things like that. Uh, it does make sense. We've been there, we've seen it before. I do think it looks fairly good, and I'm going to pull the shirt off on this one because I'm thinking about displaying this one without the shirt is my plan. Uh, it does got the Velcro going on there, of course. And then uh, you do get the uh, articulation here. I guess we'll run through that real quick. Head, back and forth, side to side. Removable, as we know. Arms all the way around. Bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows. I'm here for that. The big old Hulkster arms here. Got the white forearm tape there looking good. Gripping hand here, of course. Pointer finger hand over here. You do get the hula hoop. Uh, uh, hula hoop. I'm thinking it's an ultimate edition. You get the ab crunch going on. You do get the waist articulation. Those big old Hulkster splits. Only in Japan, brother. Uh, legs do go up. Thigh cut. Double jointed knee. Are they pinless? Oh, we're pinless. We're rocking the pinless. And then you do get the boots side to side, ankles back and forth, up and down. And then, of course, does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. Well, you know, fits right there on a stand, so we're here for that, of course. Now, the thing that makes this a chase, as we do know, is the blue boots down here. So just a little boot change is all you're really getting. That's why I said not going to be necessarily for everybody on this one here. Uh, but it does look good. I like a little point of difference. And, of course, we're working our way to 40 Hulk Hogan figures for uh, the 40th anniversary of Hulkamania. I don't know. I haven't been keeping count, but, boy, it feels like we're almost there. It'll be interesting at the end of the year how many Hulk Hogan's Mattel releases between Legends, Ultimates, uh, the Elite Line, the Basic Line, Main Event, Championship Showdown, you name it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. And of course, it is the 40th year of Hulkamania. You would have to think San Diego Comic-Con would have a special Hulk Hogan at release this year. It's 40th anniversary. Could we finally see the Tuxedo Hulk Hogan? I think I could see that as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Or maybe they try to find, figure a way out for a Suburban Commando, something like that. So it'll be very interesting to see where that ends up going uh we should know that here in the next couple of weeks i would have to imagine for san diego comic-con is we're what uh, just like two, a little over two months away at this point right here but uh the hulkster here red knee pads on here in black trunks you got the ichiban logo over there once again uh hulkster one thing to note we talked about in the regular edition this is before the male pattern baldness really got hold of him really got hold of him he's got a full head of hair going on here in the blonde Looking good, but looking good for the Hulkster here. And like I said, got the other one here. I put two Fists of Fury on this one, kept the glasses on, kept the shirt on. I might display this one just like it is right now, right here. Make them feel as different as possible. As you can see, there's not too much difference besides the knee pads and the boots on this one. So you got to do all your work on your end to make them feel as different as possible there. But there it is, the Chase Edition, Legends 22, Ichiban, Hulk Hogan. Now we turn our attention to, of course set rankings all right time to rank legend series 22 and of course remember this is my list put your list in the comments down below we've of course got five figures right here we're going to start at number five work our way all the way to number one with number one being my favorite from legends 22 and once again my list put your list in the comments down below but let's start it off at number five and number five honestly the easiest decision for me here it is going to be muhammad ali muhammad ali coming in at number five nothing terrible about this figure obviously i did get one that had a loose torso that is unfortunate your mileage may vary on that one so i'm not a fan of that but not counting that still going to be number five for me and a lot of that has to do of course we got that san diego comic-con exclusive that is really really good figure as far as ali goes i understand why they would do this here though get it in the elite line get it in all the different lines got to get the most out of your ali contract it makes sense i totally understand it but it's just not my favorite when you look at all these guys here together good for what it is but i could see this one because of people having other ali's and more ali's on the way they say you know what i can pass on this so i totally do get it here but i'm gonna sit it at number five muhammad ali now it gets a heck of a lot tougher the rest of the way here but i'm gonna go number four the one we just unboxed on the channel right here in this very video it is the ichiban hulk hogan chase edition I don't know. It doesn't really, not too big of a difference. I guess I'll go number three right here as well. Get that over with. They're very similar to each other, obviously. They're the same kind of figure, just a little bit of color differences. Now, normally red and blue I do prefer, but for whatever reason on this Hulkster, I prefer it over here with the gray and black attack. Very close between the two is what it is. It is a chase. Obviously, Hulk Hogan fans are pretty uh, vocal out there, and they do have some buying power, so I can understand the whole deal of why you'd make a Hulkster chase here. So 
Both really good figures, and in different Legends line, I could see these guys being at the top of the list. But this is one of the strongest Legend sets in a long time. Outside of Ali, for me, and that's just personal opinion, uh, but a very strong Legend line right here for me. So now we get down to the final two, and boy, this is a tough one right here. But there's reasons why one is number one and one is number two. So, of course, going in at number two here would be the Sultan with number one, Captain Louis Albano, old Super Mario himself. But we're going to start with the Sultan here at number two. Sultan, a character obviously I knew of, obviously I watched, never a huge fan of, didn't really change my life in any way, but you guys know I want everybody in action figure form, even the deepest of cut characters. The Sultan wasn't even that deep, really. But I do like this one. I like the robe on it. Uh, the cape, I guess I should say. The cape. Uh, cape season running free like a young Lando. That's what it is. But I love the, he the head on here. I love the mask. I love everything about it. The articulation's a little rough on this one, I have noticed. Uh, but besides that, a great figure of a figure I never knew I wanted until I had it right here. I mean, he was definitely on a list. We need a Sultan. We need a Sultan. Well, this one came through, and I got to say, it is pretty good. Now, get me a Bob Backlund, an Iron Sheik, even a Jim Cornette, some of his manager on. Entourage. I would love to see any of those to pair with this Sultan. We'll see what happens in the future there. But very, very good figure here. Hopefully people aren't sleeping on that one. And then number one, very easily Captain Lou Albano. First time in the line, uh, the elite line that is. We did get a superstar figure, but a very good Captain Lou Albano. I have to imagine we got more Captain Lou's around the corner as well. Would have to think the Coliseum collection, one of these days will be there. And then you get one in the floral shirts, things like that. There's just a, there's enough meat on the bone for some more Captain Lou's, I think. But man, have they nailed a head scan like this in a long time. It's been a while. This is an amazing head scan on this Captain Lou. You know exactly who this is if somebody hands this to you the extra personality in the fingers you get the record you get the soft goods iconic shirt there and then you get the vest over the top of it i mean a very very cool one here that i wouldn't be opposed to buying another one of these if they do come up obviously you could display them with just the shirt on with the shirt off with just the vest on heck you could even get another superstars captain lou take that floral shirt off and try to put it on here might be a little tight though uh, but you could try to do that to make a difference as well so a lot of options with this captain lou but at the end of the day at the base of it all start with the head sculpt an amazing likeness, an amazing figure, clearing away the number one uh, figure in Series 22 for me, and possibly a top 10 Mattel Elite of this year in 2024. We're not halfway through the year yet, but we'll see what it has to come. But an amazing, amazing figure, a must-have figure for a lot of collectors. I do feel, definitely for me, no doubt about it. So there it is, Legends 22 set rankings. Ask you one last time, what your rankings look like? Put it in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some we got even more content for you of course over on patreon patreon the best way to support this youtube channel and all the content it does bring appreciate all the support over there check out prowrestlingtees.com pick up a t-shirt search kyle peterson don't forget my book the complete guide to the jacks classic superstar series of course you guys seen this by now but barnes noble hardcover edition soft cover over there on Amazon. Appreciate all the support there. And hit me up on social media, Sir Paul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Legends 22, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.